the jolly hockey sticks girl, and school sweetheart, marrying Ed Sheeran, how the awkward-looking boy with the mop of orange hair fell for the pretty brunette in a year below. Both pupils at Thomas Mills High School in rural Suffolk stood out for their exceptional talent in very different fields. Edward Sheeran, an awkward-looking boy with a mop of orange hair, had obvious musical ability and was a terrific singer. Pretty brunette Cherry Seaburn, in the class below him, was an ace on the hockey field. The pair developed a close friendship during their time at school, and some said that Ed had a crush on Cherry although she had a boyfriend. Then life intervened and they went their separate ways. Cherry earned a degree in molecular biology and represented England in the under-21 hockey team. She now works as a senior consultant and risk advisory at prestigious accounting firm Deloitte. Meanwhile Ed, as everyone knows, achieved success in a rather more glamorous field soon after leaving school in a small town of Framlingham. His songs have sold in their millions and his third album, Divide went straight to known upon its release last March. Forbes magazine estimates that in 2015 alone he made £40 million. Money and fame, however, have not made him happy, and in one recent interview he spoke about how he shut himself up in his London home for four months, struggling to cope with the pressures of his celebrity. So it's somehow fitting, as well as romantic, that he found his way back to his teenage crush, the sporty Cherry Seaburn. As he wrote in his song Perfect, said to be about her, we were just kids when we fell in love slash not knowing what it was slash I will not give you up this time. And indeed, on Saturday he revealed to his 19 million followers on Instagram that the pair are engaged. Got myself a fiancé just before New Year, he said. We are very happy and in love, and our cats are chuffed as well. They have two, Dorito and Calippo. The announcement was accompanied by a touching photograph of 26-year-old Ed with his arms around Cherry, planting a kiss on her cheek. No details of the wedding have been forthcoming, but it's possible it will be held in the Framlingham area, where Ed has a property and where both families have roots. Ed's parents still live in the town, and Cherry's are about 10 miles away. According to one show business source, Sheeran is believed to have turned down three million pounds from the magazine Us Weekly to cover the nuptials. The couple instead plan on a relatively low-key event, with not many celebs although Ed's close friend, pop star Taylor Swift, is likely to be an exception. Ed will want some formality, though he once commented that he'd carefully planned out the placing of his 60 tattoos so he could easily hide them on his wedding day. You will never see them in a suit, he said. I want to get married and look great. Ed and his fiancée are clearly besotted, although they seem like chalk and cheese. Creative Ed tends to present a rather shambolic appearance to the world, while Cherry, 25, is a well-put-together, athletic young woman with a sharp business mind. But what Ed loves about Cherry is that she is so normal and unstarry although there are some eccentricities in her family, such as the fact that her middle name is Pian meaning a song of praise or triumph, while her brother Charlie is actually Charlemagne. Ed's song How Would You Feel, Pian, from Divide, appears to be a reference to his fiancée's moniker. It's romantic lyrics, I'll be taking my time, spending my life slash falling deeper in love with you, suggest he was thinking about the long term early in their relationship. In an interview in February last year, he said the song had been written sometime previously, explaining, I said to my girlfriend, what's your favorite song on the album? She said, you've forgotten it existed and I have it in my email because I'm the only one you sent it to. So she picked it out from like, a year and a half ago and I ended up recording it. So, who is Cherry Seaburn? She grew up in a charming period property in a village outside Framlingham with her mother Anne. Father Matthew, an architect, and younger brother. Charlie is in the same business as his brother-in-law to be, writing film and theater music. While Cherry was one of those lovely, grounded girls who was friends with everyone, young Ed was a bit of an awkward teenager. I was quite a weird kid when I was little, he said. I wore big glasses, had hearing problems, had a stutter and I had ginger hair. He lived with mum and dad, Emigan and John and brother Matthew, in Framlingham, 
but dropped out of school at 16 to seek his fortune as a singer. At the outset he busked and slept rough under an arch near Buckingham Palace. Cherry took a more orthodox route to success. After completing her science degree at Durham University, she traveled to America to take a qualification at the Master of Management Studies program at Duke University in North Carolina. This allowed her to pursue her passion for hockey as part of the university's prestigious Blue Devils hockey team. Mark Barreca, whose daughter Hannah played with her, said, Cherry is a wonderful young lady, really nice and a great hockey player. Ed Sheeran is a lucky guy. Hockey was a big part of Cherry's life at Duke, and she gave some insight into her personality when she spoke to the university magazine. I'm a massive team player, she said. I don't really do it for myself, the thing I like the most is being a part of something that's bigger than just you and that you can give something that makes other people happy and makes other people succeed. In the summer of 2015, she was still in America when Ed visited the country. Coincidentally, it was around this time he had been in the doldrums about fame and the lack of freedom that came with it. In an interview last year, he said, I stayed inside for four months. I watch movies. I couldn't just go out and get a pint of milk. I always wanted to maintain normality. I was ordering tacky always and putting on a lot of weight. He was recovering, also, from the breakdown of his relationship in the February that year with Athena Andrellos, who works as a manager for Jamie Oliver's food company. The couple had been photographed on yachts in various exotic locations, living the sort of life expected of a pop star but all the sunning and fun didn't suit Ed. In 2013, a fling with singer Ellie Goulding, similarly a British pop sensation lauded for her songwriting, had also come to nothing. And so Ed was keen to reconnect with friends from the old days. He and Cherry got in touch, and soon the pair were being spotted out and about at baseball matches and suck like. In the U.S., he was probably more able to go about his business without being mobbed by fans, giving the relationship time to blossom. Last year Ed said in an interview, This has been the first time I've ever actually had the time to fall in love properly. I've always got into relationships very passionately I'm a redhead and also Irish. I'm ready. Let's go tour bus babies, little fat, chubby babies that just walk around, he said. In 2016, the pair went off traveling for five months. They visited Japan, New Zealand and Ghana before heading to Iceland to see the Northern Lights. While there, Ed had a horrifying mishap when he put his foot in a boiling geyser which melted the skin off his foot. I had to get choppered out. I missed the Northern Lights as I was in hospital, he said. When the pair returned, Cherry took up her position at Deloitte in London. Early last year she joined a hockey club in South London. Cherry's addition to the team has been quite exciting for anyone who likes both hockey and Ed Sheeran. He has been seen cheering on the sidelines at one or two matches. The couple are believed to have been living together for about a year. Ed has a property in London, too. They've been spotted once or twice browsing around Portobello Road Market, but tend to shun celebrity parties.